more. And then holding your breath. And do you do the breath hold on the breath out or the breath in? Trust your body. And then, you know, after that, because the power breath is just squeezing. You want to squeeze or not? Trust your body. And then after the squeezing, the power breath is just breathe out and start a new round. And the basic breathing has the recovery breath of 10, 15 seconds. You know, like if you do the power breath, personally, I always do recovery breath after that. And if it feels good, I hold it for another minute there. You know, so it's about just, if you follow your body, maybe not just, but if you follow your body, whatever happens, nose in or mouth in, you know, just, it's, it's all good. As long as you breathe a lot first and then hold your breath. And then the recovery breath, personally, I do that. You know, although it's not the official power breath, but Wim is mixing everything too. And there's just these different dimensions within breathing. And if you just have a breathing practice, you make some time for it, you will benefit from it. And whatever specifics that you do, just play with it. If you do it like hold your breath on the inhale, right? Hold it as much as you can. And then exhale and hold it again as much as you can. Is that okay? Yeah, that's actually very intelligent. That is what, what I do with, with my, you know, like I, my, the mix of, of the, the three Wim Hof breathing methods is for me breathing 10, 15 times fast, like the brown fat activation. Yes. <laughs> like as deep and as fast as possible. Then I breathe in and I hold. Mm -hmm. Uh, normally I don't squeeze sometimes and then I hold it to where the dizziness disappears yeah, because what happens you put it in your blood but it's not in your muscle tissue yeah because there is so I believe when the dizziness disappears is where the oxygen goes to the muscle tissue because the CO2 has gone up and then if you breathe out and hold your breath you create this this uh, oxygen shortage you know so basically you save a minute time which is if you do that three times you have another breath round yeah so that's exactly what i do so breathe in hold and then when the dizziness disappears breathe out hold there as long as yeah. i can to create as much shortage of oxygen and then breathe in again yeah i asked you because this is why i felt natural for me like when yeah. you, I, mm. it felt like doing yeah. it like this hold it again yeah, yeah. so th that's, okay. that's a that's a clear proof that you can trust your body exactly yeah. 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 and about trusting like i hear a lot of questions not only here but always like do am i doing it well how many should i do and 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 then the answer is always feeling is understanding trusting your body but you're like if you if you're not used to it mm -hmm. it's just something you have to learn and this is what you just talked about as well this is your learning curve this is about being this is unconsciously incompetent mm -hmm. this doesn't cost any energy because you're not com you're not aware of being incompetent about something you don't know yeah. uh, then there's this flipping point where you are become aware that you're incompetent on a certain issue like about breathing or about trusting your body and here you are consciously incompetent and here I think I just was thinking this is like more sympathetic then because this is causing really a lot of energy and you keep on practicing you keep you can never go back here never yeah. so this is really practice practicing up and then you and this is this is hard work and then, then suddenly you become competent. And sometimes you go from here to here, like sh -sh -sh. you're incompetent, you're competent. Oh, oh, now I got it. Oh shit, I, I, I lost it. But you never drop down here. So this learning curve, whatever it is, this is causing a lot of energy. But then suddenly you're there. You're there like, oh, now I got it. This is how, oh, this is about trusting my body. And, and then somebody else tells you a new technique, breathing technique, and then you're back here again. Not again here, but you're back here again. And you keep on learning. And this, uh, this is just, this is where you are at now, right now. And, um, and this two sides. Mm. And um, practice, practice, practice. Ask some expertise. We are around here, but if you're back home, uh, practice with somebody else. Because if you're not able uh, fully able to trust your body and at le indeed you 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 crunch your jaw or you hold your shoulders you need somebody to look with you and to oh, mm. relax but then you get more confident along the way I, I, I got your camera 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's good. Good self coaching. Yeah, that's good self coaching. I got two two questions. Like when you guys do it, because like you're used to it. Do you still count or do you do it just as much as you need and you stop when you feel like you're in the right spot for you? Or do you still count, you know, like... I don't I'm, count. Okay. I give all my participants, I give a little um, uh, chain with 30 beats. Oh, yeah, like little mantra. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So this is this could help. Mm-hmm. And then you can decide to put 30 or 40 on it. And okay. Just to start, you know, you don't have to, Because then you'll be in your head. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And, and the second question is like, do we get from you guys like a recorded, guided meditation or something afterwards? I mean, which I think for me at least it would be helpful like to be like really yeah. down strong just for the training. Yeah, you, we, you get a lot of um, information what we've talked about and, and like yeah. the breathing techniques and, and I will put it in the WhatsApp group. Mm-hmm. Um, is there some audio also there? Like? No. It's not in program. It's not a, yeah, officially you get nothing. Yeah. But you get no. Uh, no. Officially you get, you get experience, <laughs> which is no, the most valuable I mean. thing you can have. Okay. Now, um, this is recording. Uh, maybe we. <laughs> maybe we. Oh shit. <laughs> um, maybe yeah, it, it's nice. Maybe I will, we'll, you know, like record something one yeah. time. Mm-hmm. But I like good, you know, like the quality to be a bit good. Well. Well, at the moment, no. And by the way, I'm counting, yeah. but without counting, you know, like I hear the numbers, but I'm not thinking about it. But, you know, like I'm very uh, confident and I feel very good with numbers. So that mm-hmm. goes automatically with me. And then if I if I count like 10 times fast, for example, and I never keep to 10 times. So, so I, I do feel like what I need at that moment. Yeah. I also like to have some guys like that from our team. Like random guys from from the event they're like no like i really needed to hear uh, the breathing i know you guys said like there's no rules (laughs) it's it's cool for me it's okay but i heard some guys were like i i I would have loved like to have like a very specific yeah process of the breathing like one two three four five no because this is how we are used to learn yeah yeah yeah, but but then you know that is that is nice and there's YouTube videos of, mm. of Wim who who does that for an hour. Yeah. But you know like you want to follow your own pace. Mm. Yeah. And of course it's nice if you get help but in the end you know you want to do it yourself. And we now have this group and you could share and ask your question help each other because you learn so much from it by observing and because that maybe could be a nice exercise to do in couples looking at each other's breathing because you learn so much watching other people yeah. breathe let's let's do that in a bit like let's let's uh, sitting finish. up like you know, just let's let's that's, that's very good um um i want to say something about this um oh yeah so so you are uh, you know allowed to do whatever you want but if you feel like i don't know what to do then you follow the protocol so you know, and that is a bit like from the mind, but that's good because you're still in that in that conscious yeah. incompetent basically. And then if you if your body shows you like to do something different, that is totally fine. That's what we want to say. So follow the protocol until you feel like you wanna you don't want to keep to the protocol, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah, to, to be like it's funny. I I didn't know anything about breathing. I, I knew there are breathing exercises, you know, and I kind of expected to be like a formula, like you take mm-hmm. four deep breaths, you know, then you buy hack it, you're holding ten, and then again you breathe for, you know, like a, a precise amount. It, it works for me very well. But that is that is yeah. basically what we give with the yeah. with the base yeah. with the, the breathing techniques. Yeah. But it's just okay to to Interpret- deviate from yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. The interpretation is yeah. very flexible. I mean, we need to experience it a couple of times before we know what we should yeah, uh, feel. Exactly. So the, the, the first couple of times, uh, yeah. we should, I think, follow the protocol to, yeah. to feel uh, like that this muscle contraction is, is totally okay and yeah. we should feel it. It's not awkward. It's not joke. Because if you listen to your body, you would say, oh shit, my muscles are doing something weird. I should mm-hmm. stop. Mm-hmm. So if I, if I if you tell me too early, like just listen to your body, I would just like, not do anything. Yeah, or exactly. Not do the yeah. yeah. And it's all, what I noticed too is like the first one or two breathing um, 
techniques in the morning, I keep to the protocol. And then I start feeling what I need. You know, so it's very good to, to bite the edge off and stick to the protocol. And then afterwards, like, oh, hey, I want to breathe more. Okay, or mm. I want to breathe less or whatever you want to do. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense, right? So we have like a short uh, toilet break or something, and yeah. then we're going into a breathing session, yeah. and, we're, and we're gonna measure like this oxygen uh, behavior. Right, okay, thanks. Uh, I hope this helped. See you soon.